So in Mahabharat, there's a character called Dhritarashtra. He's blind. And he had an assistant called Sanjay. So Sanjay was one of the best commentators. He can narrate almost anything and help the king around. And Sanjay had a superpower that can, he can see around the world anything that's happening and narrate the same to the king. So I thought I'll make a technological replacement for Sanjay. <laughs> <laughs> so how it works is that uh, we live our lives by perceiving moments that we go through. And we make use of senses to perceive the moments. If uh, one of the senses goes missing, we make use of other senses a bit more and have the same level of perception. Vision, in this case, is better replaced by touch and auditory senses. I try to use touch as the primary mode of interaction and see how it goes. So a basic visual example, visual experience, is reading a newspaper. A touch or a tactile example of doing this is reading a Braille newspaper. If you go a bit technologically advanced, we do the same on a Braille reader, which is like essentially a grid of Braille, Braille pins, which uh, can tell information, so any number of pages, any number of newspapers. If we make it a two-way communication, what happens is we fill the grid completely and we make it reactive to touch, so it becomes something that we can read and it becomes something that can understand what's happening with it. If we go ahead and we make it a surface rather than a grid, so we make the braille pins disappear, so it becomes a smooth surface which can again read and which can understand basically what we are trying to tell. So this is something, something of a tactile surface. But the problem with the tactile surface is that it's, uh, it doesn't work as a visual surface. You basically have to touch through the surface to understand what elements exist on the surface. So how to make it more perceivable? How to make the experience a bit more faster? So these are the examples of what we can do. We can put text, we can put animations, we can put Braille on the surface. To make it more perceivable, I uh, included two frameworks. One was a level of reference, which makes use of the surface level and tells you whether displayed information is an information element or a text field or a button element. And secondly, I included uh, affordance. This was by the way of uh, having a consistent layout all through the interaction. So a user, even before seeing or like feeling a surface, actually had a rough idea where would action elements be and where would be information placed on the surface. So taking these things into consideration, I had the Braille concept phone. How This is how it looks like. On the right side are the navigation elements, which are like permanent buttons and the slider. On the left side is the surface, which I talked about. So it has text field, it has buttons. This particular screen is how you would make a call from a Braille phone. The next screen basically so shows how you would type out a SMS on a Braille phone. And the good thing about Braille is that it's a multilingual medium. So uh, basically, you don't need to learn a new language to learn Braille. You can use a Hindi Braille, you can use an English Braille, whichever one you actually know. Basically, with this such kind of tactile medium, we can do a bit more cool things. We can play music, and user basically knows what music is playing, what song name is. We can play some games. We can play games with a visual interaction element also over the let network. We can do a bit more. We can have tactile maps on the surface, so a blind user can actually make use of maps and reach his home or reach his destination without actually asking anyone. There are a bit more better things to do. The thing, the Braille phone can scan through visual textual elements and convert it to a Braille element, so a user really is like as capable as anyone. Uh, there's a bit more cool thing you can do with it. <laughs> so basically what it does is it can capture visuals and convert them to highlights. So even if the highlight is not a perfect capture of the visual, but it can give the braille person, uh, blind person an example of what emotions a person is going through or what a visual scenario looks like. And since we have static visuals, we can have videos as well. So a blind person can possibly video chat. He can possibly understand what the corresponding person is reacting like. So thank you.